Hey everyone, tis the season, it's time to talk snot. So if you've had a cold recently or any kind of sinus congestion, you've been fighting the snot bug, right? It's coming out your nose, maybe it's stuck, maybe you're just congested, it's going down the back of your throat, and it's so hard to get rid of. A lot of people are just using over-the-counter nasal sprays, maybe your doctor gave you something. I'm going to give you some tools to use at home and then tell you kind of levels of intervention of what we can offer. I'm not going to touch any herbs today. I'm not going to touch all the amazing nutrients, things like acetylcysteine and other things that are great for your immune system. We're going to cover a lot of that in my talk this Wednesday. If you are planning on coming, we can't wait to see you. Uh, if you can't make it, remember we're doing a Facebook Live. You can host a party. We're going to have giveaways and we're going to talk everything that has to do with keeping you sane, happy, healthy through the holiday season. All right, so let's talk snot. How do you get it out? You have to get it out. That's the key piece, right? You're blowing. Maybe it's coming out. You're making more. That's the entire point. You have these wonderful cells called goblet cells that just dump out mucus, and they're getting all of those uh, horrible intruders out of your body. Well, a couple of different things. One, you can use a spray. I have a couple of my favorites, um, and there are natural sprays out there. Some people love sprays. Some people don't love sprays. Here's a couple of them. They're very easy because you can use them every hour to two hours. A lot of them contain homeopathics. They contain herbs. They might even just be a saline rinse. A couple of sprays in each nose. You can do them every couple of hours. Next level, wonderful neti pot. They come in all sorts of shapes. Some of them look like a teapot like this. There's some really cute ones out there that look like elephants. Um, some of them are just a spray bottle you can use, um, and those all work. Key piece here, you're gonna put in distilled water. Do not ever use tap water. Um, you're going to add in the neti salt it comes with. This changes the pH so it doesn't hurt uh, inside your nose. You're gonna put it in one nostril, and then you're going to lean forward off to the side and it should go in one side through all of your sinuses and out the other side. Sometimes it's stuck and it doesn't work. You have to flip back and forth. So don't obstruct the nostril, but forward and off to the side. There are also herbal um, and Ayurvedic remedies that you can put in here along with it. Make sure you know what you're doing, read the bottles, um, and that you're not just putting random things in there. I've heard that before. I've had people burn themselves putting herbs in. So make sure when you're using a nutty pot that you're using it responsibly. These are really awesome. They're really underestimated. They're a little hard to get yourself to do the first time, um, but they will save you. So get that snot out of there. It gets all those spores out of there. If there are fungal spores in there, it gets viruses, bacteria, mucus, pollen, anything that's stuck in those caves of your um, sinuses gets it all out. So that's gonna be a key, key player for a home remedy. Next level is doing a nebulizing treatment. Now a lot of people know nebulizing treatments from maybe yourself, kids, uh, where you're using albuterol. I use natural substances. I do a lot of natural uh, nebulizing treatments. This is my penguin. This is how I get kids to do nebulizing treatments in my office. Um, so Polly the penguin is fantastic. Here we can add in things like um, acetylcysteine, which is going to break up the bonds in your mucus and actually let it all come out. We can use glutathione. I can use some safe um, other preparations that have um, herbs and immune stimulants in it, but I do not recommend doing any of that at home unless you're under a doctor's supervision. So again, in recap, you've got your levels of intervention. If sprays work for you, there are so many good natural nasal sprays out there. Just be careful. You know exactly what you're putting in your nose. Sometimes people don't. They just get anything over the counter and they think, oh, this is a supplement. It's not all a supplement. It's not all safe. Next level, remember your neti pot. Seriously, lifesaver. You want this, especially if you have allergies, but you want to get the junk out. This is a really good way. And again, you can add things to it. Make sure they are made specifically for this. A lot of them say like neti wash or something along those lines. And then if it's just killing you, it's too much, come on into the office. If you come to my office, we use natural nebulizing treatments. Again, we use acetylcysteine. We use glutathione. We use a lot of 
uh, immunostimulants, uh, and we'll also use other mucolytics. Sometimes we add in things like albuterol and, and necessary bronchodilators. Um, and if you're at that level, please see a physician. I am happy to answer any questions that you have, so feel free to direct message me. And I'm wishing you a happy, healthy, and safe holiday season. Hopefully you won't have too many snot bugs.